Hello and welcome to part 24 of the Road to Glory Save here on Football Manager 22. My name is Russ and today we have two league games for you. First one is home to Yeovil and the second one is away to Dagenham and Redbridge. Since you were last with us, um, our form has been not great. Uh, you saw the Newport game as your last one. We then went on to draw the next three. We lost to Ebb's Fleet. We then beat Bath, drew with Oldham and beat Borehamwood. Uh, we've been conceding goals quite late as well. League table, we are in ninth position. Yeah, we've only lost the one game, but I think those draws are going to be cost become costly towards the end of the season. Looking at the rest of the squad, we go competition and then where do we click to? Let's just do it this way. Selection info, goal wise, top goal scorer is DJ Comp uh, Campton Sturridge, scoring four goals. Assist wise, it's probably Cameron Green again getting the two there. Best player is Terenzi. He's been quite good on that uh, that left wing back position. We are looking at bringing another player in. He's going to cost us a hell of a lot in wages there. So the team for the Yeovil game sees Bosworth in goal. A back three of need to make a change here. Of Lee Holland Byron Y. Green and Judd in the wing-back positions. Spong, McGregor and Glendon in midfield. And Chadwick and Seymour up front. We need to tour, turn our form around now. We need to pick up some consistent wins. Win this game, win the next one. Should give us some good morale as well. And the first highlight is Yeovil with a throw in on the left hand side. We've managed to get the ball back into McGregor. Out to Spong. You find Green on the left hand side. He's got loads of space. He plays it back into centre. Spong over the top. Seymour's managed to get the ball into Judd. Judd puts the cross in. Green with the header and Green scores. Normally he's the provider but this time he is the scorer. 1 0 to Dulwich. Uh, home fans are jumping around and shouting, especially in the uh, Tommy Grover end. Coming up to the closing minutes of the half now, nothing has happened since we scored. Uh, highlights wise, it is 1-0 uh, at half time there. Let's have a look at the fitness of our players. Miles Judd has come off and Niall Osborne has come on to replace him in the right wing back position. Miles Judd has been injured for a little bit so we're trying to maintain his fitness. Got a throw in here with Green on the left hand side into Spong. He's lost the ball out but Green's managed to get it back and put one in. Glendon can't get on the ball, McGregor picks it up. Back into the defence. Glendon, space out on the right hand side if we can find the man. We haven't, we've gone into the defence again. McGregor. Osborne now with the ball from the right hand side puts the cross in into Chadwick and Chadwick can't get onto it. We have a corner there. Green's going to put the ball in. He finds the head of Lee and Lee can't keep the, can't keep the ball down. Yeovil have got a free kick here. We are looking to make a substitution as well. Ah, Yeovil have scored. 1-1 uh, one, one now, we should have been watching the man there. He's found that little bit of space and he's punished us for that one. Uh, Campton Sturridge has come on for Billy Chadwick up front. Bosworth with the goal kick. He does find Camp Campton Sturridge. Oh, Seymour's at the crossbar there. Unlucky. Green with the throw in now. Up to Compton Sturridge. Back into Green. He puts the ball across. Finds Seymour. Seymour with the header, but he can't keep it down. We're into the last ten minutes now. We need, we're becoming draw specialists. We need to um we need to score now and pick up a victory. Green's on the ball at the left hand side. Back into Lee. Someone needs to create space for him. Spong now. McGregor. Out to Holland. If we can go out to the right, there's loads of space there. And we have done. We found Osborne. Osborne into Glendon. Glendon with the ball across the box and we've got a corner. Can we make this corner pay? Green now. He puts the ball in. Lee and La, ah, the keeper saved it. It's good effort there. Last two minutes of the game. Four minutes of time added on as well now. Into the last minute of that. Looks like we're going to draw again. 
It's going to be a frustrating season if it's going to continue like this. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. On to the next one, see if we can get a result in that one now. So the team then for the Dagenham Redbridge game sees Bosworth in goal, a back three of Lee, McDonald, Sendles, White, Green and Judd in the wing back positions, Hazeman, Glendon and McGregor in midfield, and Seymour and Campton Sturridge up front. This is the game where I want to see us turn it around, pick up a victory, and uh, get our season going again. Push for those playoffs, push for the uh, the automatic uh, promotion. We're on the ball now with Green, Green on the left hand side. Into Lee, into Hazeman. Can you find Green? Green can. Can you put the cross in into Glendon? All the way out to the right hand side with Judd now. Judd into McGregor. Back to Judd. Glendon on the edge of the box with a shot and he's put it over. It's been another uneventful first half of the game. We've got a corner here with Green. Puts it in Lee, can't get onto the head of it. They've cleared it. It's only as far as Glendon. Glendon back to Green. Green into Judd. Can Judd find a cross? He's got the space he does. Into Seymour and Seymour scores. Third goal of the season. 1 0 to Dulwich just before half time as well. That gives us a little bit of a confidence boost there. It is about 1 0 at half time as well. Let's have a look at the fitness of our players. So, no changes at half time. We'll probably look to make them around the 60 minute mark. I want to get a second and third goal in this game really hammer home that we are the, the superior team that we are pushing for a promotion this year. So a double substitution, Compton Sturridge has come off for Billy Chadwick and Jamie Sendles White has come off and Byron Wise has come on in defence. Just to freshen up these positions, put some fresh legs on the pitch. Next substitution is probably going to be Miles Judd around the 75th minute. And we have, we've clung on to this victory, 1-0 over Dagenham. Hopefully this can kickstart us going on a winning streak now. Win three or four games on the bounce and uh, move up the table and put this uh, iffy form behind us. Let's give Judd some praise here. Uh, five games unbeaten now. Let's just not look at this. So, table. We are into ninth position. 18 points on the table, four wins, six draws, one loss. Uh, when should we come back? Let's play through the whole of October. Not too worried about the FA Cup. We'll probably come back for the FA Cup game and whichever league game it falls in here. If we get knocked out, we'll come back for the South End in Fylde game. So if you guys have liked that, drop a like on the video, comment down in the comment section, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with this journey. Thank you very much for watching.